The Hazelborn Ladies Motorcycle and Flying Club is a fictional novel set in the early 20th century, a period of great change and the advent of new technologies, including motorcycles and aircraft. The story takes place in the small English village of Hazelborn, where a group of remarkable women defy the conventions of their time by forming the Hazelborn Ladies Motorcycle and Flying Club. At the center of this novel is the strong-willed and adventurous Mrs. Violet Lanchester. A widow with a zest for life that is considered unseemly for her age and position, Violet is the catalyst for the club's formation. Her passion for motorcycles and flying captures the imaginations of several other women in the village who are equally eager to break free from the constraints of their expected domestic roles. Among the club's founding members are Miss Edna Pierce, a spinster with hidden depths and a surprising knack for mechanics, Mrs. Agnes Worthington, the Viker's wife, who carries a sense of daring behind her outwardly meek demeanor, and Miss Lucy Carter, the bright and vibrant schoolteacher, who is perhaps the most ambitious of the group, nursing dreams of one day becoming a pilot. These women, each with their unique background and personal struggles, find camaraderie and empowerment in their shared pursuit. The Motorcycle and Flying Club becomes a haven where they can express their desires for independence and adventure, supporting one another as they learn to ride motorcycles and eventually to fly. The story unfolds as the women confront a variety of challenges. The men of the village, including Major Allingham, the local squire, view the women's activities with suspicion and disapproval. The major embodies the conservative attitudes of the time, insisting that such endeavors are unseemly and distracting women from their familial duties. His disapproval becomes a significant obstacle for the club as he wields influence in the community and seeks to dissuade the women from continuing their pursuits. Additionally, the club faces societal norms that dictate a woman's place to be in the home rather than taking on adventurous pastimes more commonly associated with men. The characters must navigate the disapproval and discouragement of many around them, including their own families. Despite these external pressures, each character also confronts personal conflicts and demons throughout the story. Violet grapples with her own sense of loss and searches for meaning beyond her identity as a widow. Edna battles with a secret past that she fears might come to light, while Agnes must contend with her marriage to a man she no longer recognizes. Lucy is tormented by aspirations that seem larger than the life she was born into, fearing that her dreams may never materialize. A pivotal moment arrives when the women manage to acquire an outdated but operable airplane, bringing their flying ambitions closer to reality. With the help of a few sympathetic men, including a war veteran with flying experience, the women set about restoring the plane and learning the skills needed to take it to the skies. Their clandestine meetings and late-night endeavors add an air of excitement and urgency to the novel as the women inch closer to achieving what many believe to be impossible. As the story progresses, the club members not only learn about motorcycles and flying, but also about their strengths and the depth of their courage. They are forced to confront the realities of the time, including the roles expected of women, the looming threat of another war, and the personal sacrifices required to make their dreams a reality. Throughout the novel, the author expertly weaves historical details to create a rich and vivid setting. The advancements in technology, the aftermath of the First World War, and the prevailing attitudes towards women all serve as a backdrop that both informs and confines the characters' lives. Yet, the pioneering spirit of the Hazelborn Ladies Motorcycle and Flying Club is a testament to the power of determination and friendship in overcoming adversity. As the story moves towards its climax, the club plans for a public exhibition to showcase their flying skills. The event promises to either solidify their achievements or to undo everything they have worked so hard to attain. Tensions come to a head as the day of the exhibition approaches, forcing each member to confront her fears and make choices that will forever alter the course of her life. Through trials and triumphs, the Hazelborn Ladies Motorcycle and Flying Club ultimately proves to be more than just a hobby or a means of escape. It is a catalyst for change, not just for the women at its heart, but for the entire village of Hazelborn.
The novel concludes with the understanding that societal change is slow and often fraught with resistance, but the courage and tenacity of those who dare to challenge the status quo have the power to inspire others and shift the tides of history. Helen Simonson's The Hazelborn Ladies Motorcycle and Flying Club is a celebration of the indomitable spirit of women who pursue their passions in the face of societal expectation. The novel serves as a tribute to the adventurers and rebels who find freedom and purpose on the open road and in the limitless sky. Through the intimate and inspiring journeys of its characters, the book imparts a timeless message about the enduring strength of female friendship and the importance of following one's dreams, no matter the obstacles. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.